what's up everybody the weekend is almost here and we are back with another video check us out right after this all right everybody so we are not down at the campground this weekend because we've got a few projects that we want to take care of here at home right babe yep yesterday was our daughter's birthday she's the big 29 girl you're pushing 30. happy birthday oh, wait a minute. that just makes me seem old i'm sorry i'll check that back sorry <laughs> so uh some of you know me and you know that i'm really big into the game cornhole now um, I play in a couple of leagues, I played in a few tournaments, and I practice at home. So a few months ago, I was in my driveway where I normally practice, and there were some oil spills in there, and I said, well, I can't practice today because there's oil spills in the driveway. And I thought to myself, Dave, you got plenty of yard to practice in. Why don't you just practice in the yard? So once I thought about that, I decided, why don't I just build a cornhole set or what I call a cornhole pit in my backyard because we have all of this space back here. Check this out, folks. So with that being said, that's my project for today and Kim has her own special project that she's working on. Okay, so I am way out of my league, but I'm actually getting ready to start a garden. So uh, my mom is here, my daughter's here, my niece and her girlfriend are here, my grandkids, and we are going to go get some stuff and actually start a garden, which I can't believe they actually talked me into this, but now the question is, what kind of garden is it? <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a vegetable garden. So we're gonna have potatoes, cucumbers, peppers, that sort of stuff. So corn, this I gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, so we're gonna move right along. We're gonna bring you with us for our projects here at the house. Stick with us. So yesterday I came out and I measured my space for my cornhole pit and I put some string down with some stakes and I put the same thing down on the other side down there so what I'm going to do next is we have a rototiller here And I'm going to till this ground here where this rectangle is, where the first uh, cornhole boards will be at. Once the ground is uh, tilled and we will even it out, put down some weed blocker, tamp down to make it nice and even. And then we also have some artificial grass that we're gonna put down with a three-sided border. All right, this is my first time attempting something like this, folks. So. Let's get started. So everybody, we've run into our first major problem of the day. Number one, the rototiller is not heavy enough because the ground is too hard, so we couldn't till up the earth the way we wanted to. So basically what we're gonna have to do is tamp down as much of the grass as possible. And what I've done is I have sprayed some weed and grass killer in the area where the mats are gonna go down to kill some of that. And then the weed blocker will go down next. So one step in the process is done, meaning we can't get it done. So we're gonna move on to the next step, which like I said was to spray the grass with weed killer and grass killer, and then put down the weed blocker and then the matting. All right. And also what that means is 
Kim and the ladies will not be able to do their um, vegetable garden today because we can't till the ground. So hopefully later on in the summer or in a couple of weeks, we can find a place where we can rent one. We know there's one locally, but they're not open right now for us to go ahead and rent it. So hopefully we can get, do that later and they can get their project done as well. All right, everyone, I've got my weed blocker down. Looking pretty good. Put in place with some yard staples. Both sides are done. So now it's time to put the artificial turf down in place. All right, everyone, I've got my artificial turf down, put into place. I put it down with some two and a half inch common nails just to hold it in place before we put down our wood border. That's one side. And here is the other side. We are moving right along, folks. Next, we're going to get the wood and we're going to put a wood border on three sides around the cornhole pit. And of course, you see <laughs> someone video bombing me. <laughs> My garden is not working out so well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with a plan B because plan A just did not work. So we'll let you know what plan B is so we get ready to go to the store in a little bit and hopefully we'll find something that's going to work better than what we had initially planned. Wish us luck. All right, folks, so the day is moving along. Now we're working on the wood for the back of the pit. I purchased some 18 inch rebar. That we're drilling holes into the wood, down into the ground. We're doubling up the wood in the back and we'll do single on each side. So we're in the middle of that right now, making sure it's level, dead center, rebar, and we're halfway there. All right, we'll keep it moving, folks.
Okay, everyone, today's project is finally complete. Take a look. We've got one side all set and ready to go. I've added solar lights for nighttime play. One on each side. Let's go take a look at the other side. And it's duplicated. We have the solar lights that will shine all white or different colors fade, fading in and out. So there it is everyone, my cornhole project. Unfortunately, the ladies didn't get to do theirs today. They've come up with a solution an alternate solution and they are going to put that together at another time that should be another video for everyone to see all right we're going to help them do that as well so right now i'm about to pull the boards out measure my 27 feet throw a few bags and see how this thing works out all right folks there you have it the boards are in place the official american cornhole organization boards There it is. All right, let's throw some bags. Hi guys. So it is now 618 <laughs> and I have not planted one thing. It has been, I feel defeated, but it's not gonna happen. So we came up with a plan B. We'll show you what that is, but it's getting late. And guess what? You know, we don't go one video without mentioning food. That's right. Got one video. I'm pretty sure I mentioned food in every video. Yep. So you went and got something for us to eat, right? Yeah. I went and picked up the plants that we are actually going to plant. Not sure if it's going to be tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I got to eat because I haven't eaten since about 9 o'clock this morning. And sister gets hangry. Nobody likes a hangry sister. So <laughs> I got to eat. All right, folks. Mm -hmm. We're going to conclude this video right now. Um, we're going to bring you our next video will be the vegetable garden right huh yes i just hope it isn't pitiful i don't want to embarrass myself all right we're gonna make it work <laughs> all right folks we thank you for watching we thank you for subscribing we love the thumbs up that you're giving us we're having a great time we see your comments and we're replying to every single one of them thank you guys you guys are i tell you you're really awesome yep. i love the questions Thank you so, so much. We right. appreciate you guys. Okay, folks, as we normally do, end our videos by saying, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. All right, everybody, we're gonna throw some more bags. Bye.